Okay, you receive your instructions in the dressing room. Only thing I'm going to remind you of now is when I say stop, what that means is stop whatever you're doing and give me a clean break. Protect yourself at all times. Obey my commands at all times. Gentlemen, let's do this. Guys, yesterday, both of these fighters weighed in at the junior featherweight limit. Today, they've rehydrated to different weights. Caballero rehydrated to a featherweight. He's 126 pounds. De La Hoya has rehydrated to a pound over the lightweight limit. He's 136 pounds. 10 pounds heavier than Randy Caballero. We'll see if that's a functional weight advantage. Well, when you gain more weight like that, you can more weight than that. Our number two is to be a To be a little slower and give him advantage of power because he's bigger. But then again, if he can't have a punch, he don't matter anyway. <laughs> That's bad news for De La Hoya because that was one of his key advantages, his edges coming into this fight, was his speed, reflexes, and quickness. Well, he's going to lose that with the weight. Because when you're at 136, 10 pounds over the weight, okay, well, 12 pounds over the weight, there's a high risk chance that you're going to be slow. De La Hoya with the right there. He's in the green way around him. And he goes, the lawyer he normally walks around 140 according to Joe his uh, manager. And we we've seen his entire career. I think he's brought that off of one of them. This is a kid who usually squeezes into 122 pounds. He'll never have that chisel physique like Mr. Olympia here this weekend. This is a kid who at 22 is interested to see how much longer he'll even be there. Yeah, he makes weight, but he has to really sweat it out. And he's never a happy, happy camper the day before the weigh-in or the day of the weigh-in. Like they say, it's kind of salado. This kid is salty. Yeah, that, 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 that quick speed from Diego de Loria. The 23-year-old Randy Caballero, no stranger to weight issues himself. The last time he was in Las Vegas, he lost his belt at the scales. He had the 118-pound belt. Came in five pounds over. He says that he woke up the next day. He didn't know what happened. He didn't eat anything. He didn't drink anything. Regardless, though, he moved up in weight. Break! This is the first time he's fighting Break. Corner, Nicaragua, born, his mother American, won that title, went back to Nicaragua, was welcomed by the president. He was a hero's welcome to Nicaragua, but he won that idea belt. After that, though, his career, injuries to his ankle, surgery, assist that derailed so many times. He had so many times before. Randy Keller was going to headline fancy sports. No, 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 sir! It looked like it was at the end of the punch. I want to see the replay. Yeah, I want to see the replay of that. Well, Della Hoya is that nice left hook. And he's going to get the top. He's got a nice, nice left hook. But he's going to go away. But he's landing it. Della Hoya is landing that left hook. Caballero needs to make some adjustments. Hands are free. Punch it out. Punch it out. Hands are free. This is precious. Those two, as you mentioned, you want to coach out of Valley. It's not that big. There's boxing there. So everybody knows each other. Stage as well as you said, I'm from Coachella. He just trains there. I'm that's my value. And you're there, they have a lot of pride in that building. You, 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 you have a lot of pride. No, 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 stop, 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 stop. Don't wrestle, don't wrestle, don't wrestle. Um, put you on his iPad in Phoenix, Arizona. That's what to do. If you want to introduce kids to the sport of boxing, big bike boxing fan, this is the car to do it. And you're watching right now, Randy Caballero and Diego. So good job, Mateo, taking advantage of watching this fight. Okay, like, all right, cool. Take it quick, man. He doesn't like doing interviews at all. And he doesn't like being trampled. Right? So he, everything is just not Stop, right stop, 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 stop. Step out, step out, step out, step out. Right away. You're okay. Up, up! Let him up, let him up. Stop! Come here, come here, come here. Come here. This is me. Do you understand? Stop. You understand? Stop. That's what I mean. Let's go. Yes, they do. They're not going to Robert Bird. This is going down the wall. Back to the jab, Matador. Hook from Dale Oda. Stop! Step out. Here we go. People need to know there's some great fighters out there. Um, you know, I always don't believe in great fighters. Only great fighters that have great fighters. Stop! Good boxing. Stop! They make a great fight. This is a good fight. That's good. That's good. That's good. Young kids. Here we go. Um, very risky fight. Definitely 50-50 on paper. Coming into this fight, it's very hard to pick a favorite. They had one man with the experience, a more mature fighter in Caballero. Stay down.
down there, got that knee up on him. Kudo Chicali. Watch your heads, guys. Watch your heads. So you have a key like a little league baseball. And we're not boxing. Oh, no, Somebody didn't give him the memo. Some nice end fighting here. Randy shaking his head like, no, nothing there. Is there a spot? Is he over there? Yeah, I got him. Yeah, I got him. Yeah, I got him. So, I got to get it. I definitely see some swelling around the left eye of Caballero. Something, something's up with the eye. Nice right cross from Caballero. He's starting to get his timing together. He's starting to find his range and figure out the, the movement and the rhythm of De La Hoya. Randy's taking some shots. He's throwing his shots back. De La Hoya's throwing some shots. It's, it's just, like I said, this is a boxing match. It's going back and forth. Okay? Neither man is taking the issue. Good left hook from the lawyer. Some swell, a little mouse underneath the left eye of Randy Caballero. Marcel Blanco is coming. He's going to have to do some work. So both these fighters showing some wear on their face. Here in the final seconds of the fourth round. Good personal, honey. Sell it inside the ring. Stop, stop, stop. Step out, step out. You got five seconds. Diego did first most of the night. Diego goes first, and then he allows Randy to clean up the show. Here he goes. Now Randy's working on the inside. De La Hoya is going to go on the outside. Nadi on the inside again. Back and forth. This fight is going differently than I thought it would go. I thought it would be, even though... Caballero's nickname is El Matador. I thought he would be the bull, and, and De La Hoya would be the Matador. And oh, stop, you tied up, you tied up. Let him go, let him go. Well, let they're both go. the same height, so pretty much. Yes, they are. No, so there's no exact same height. There's no regular reach advantage on either man. Get off his neck, stop! Um, so Get you're, off his you're neck. looking at it like, you know, 68 today, two inches after he goes to De La Hoya. Oh, but he's not good Randy got hurt to the body. I think he thinks it's a, it's a foul. Maybe it's a head like something bothered him. Cabrero missing punches, and there's a clash of heads by De La Hoya. You see quincing for Cabrero. Pretty much almost every round, one round even. even. No, 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 push. 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 Doing anything in that round really negative, but right? or push. Didn't exactly win either. I thought the fourth round was close. Randy's fought the bigger fights. He's fought for the worst fights. Hostile territory in Japan. In Monaco in the same year. Diego stopped the PGA in Las Vegas. Free up your hand. Hands are free. He has an advantage here, but no one's really. Diego has been developed very well. He hasn't been spoon fed. He hasn't been babied at all. But they've moved him against the right opposition. And he's been active. He's had years where he's fought five times in the same year. He's fought opposition. And he's gone and touched this online on ringtv.com. Appreciate you guys. There you go. We know Adrian Gonzalez, a big dog, uh, Canelo Alvarez fan. So what's up with the dog? Appreciate you guys watching us in Washington, D.C. No, 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 you guys watching this down in Houston, Texas. Randy complaining of a low blow. Robert Bird didn't see it. He made it off from Randy Caballero. Step out, step out, step out. It definitely landed low. I couldn't tell if it was on the cup or even like on the inside of the thigh. It's a low blow at the judge. The referee said it was a low blow. Right hand from the low on the chin of Caballero. Let him go, Diego. Over the Randy thing, come on. Let him go, Diego. Let him go. Let him go. 
What up? What up? What up? Frustration yep. and desperation in the Caballero corner. Did his father tell him to do anything specific? He just said, get let it all out. That's Marco Caballero told the son. You're running out of time, you gotta let it all out. So in other words, let your hands go the way De La Hoya is letting his hands go. I'll tell you what, De La Hoya gets the better of the exchanges and the head clashes, because whenever his head comes in, he tucks his chin and makes sure it's the top of his head that clashes with the face of Randy Caballero. Well, very smart boxing tactics. Hey, uh, oh, even low. Oh, that was a nice, nice right hook to the body. De La Hoya to the very goes. Nice to the body in there. The Messi Rivera and her scorp against. Controlling it. The aggression from Randy Caballero at the win. Not fooling De La Hoya. When the fighters do get into the ring. I'm seeing a lot of wear and tear on the face of Caballero. He's remaining defiant, but he doesn't, he's not fighting with the same spirit that he entered the ring with. Looking very weary in there. Right hand from De La Hoya. Bouncing around on this sweet everlasting boot designed by his wife. Esther Marie Deloya, his manager's wife, designed the boots that he's wearing. She got them all shiny, and their fighter is shining tonight. <laughs> Tenth and final round, Marcos Caballero in his son's face. Oh, 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 you never listen oh, get to off, Get off his neck, get off his neck. There you go. Is this a first frustration in the camp? Caballero also had a delay because his contract with Golden Boy was up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The delay was, was he going to resign with Golden Boy? He was shopping himself around. What was his strength coming into this fight? He didn't say speed. He didn't say boxing ability. He said activity. He was right. He stays sharp. It's a big issue. He doesn't want to have a hand. He said if he wasn't a boxer, he would have been a soccer player. But then the boxing team was working out. And he was controlling. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Stop, 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 stop. He did exactly what he said he was going to do. He said, well, I'm going yeah. to teach him. Move. That's all. There's no sportsmanship between these two. Oh. Personal. One raises the hands. And that's it. Robert Hoyle scores it 100 to 90. Eric Cheek and Patricia Moss Jarman score it 98 to 92. All three judges have it unanimously for the winner. And now unified champion, still undefeated, Diego!